morning everyone welcome to another studio vlog i'm about to go to the post office to post oh, these orders so yeah i'm actually going to the post office now and i'm gonna ask them about the drop and go service which is a little bit different to the click and drop service that i've been using but yeah i will explain all about that later and hopefully i can get that all kind of set up but yeah so i'm gonna post these now thank you so much by the way if, if you've ordered something you've just been amazing thank you anyway um if you just if you're watching <laughs> this video so i'm gonna put the packing footage in now and i will see you when i get back wondering why there are cat stamps literally <laughs> on every single surface of these boxes is because me and Tom actually stamped them wrong we <laughs> you may remember a while ago we stamped so many boxes and it was kind of late at night and we realized we'd stamped them in the wrong places yes yeah, so that you won't see because it'll be covered with tissue paper and the one off on the front you won't see <laughs> because that's where the label goes. Never mind, eh? I just thought that was kind of funny and that it's, it's kind of nice to show when you sort of mess up a little bit, but it's fine. It's kind of a secret as well because <laughs> you won't know unless you take the label off unless and unless you take the tissue paper out, which you might do, you might want to reuse your tissue paper. Speaking of surprises, when Tom packs orders, he likes to pack the freebie, like if it's like a freebie sticker or something, he likes to put it underneath the packing slip or the card so you don't know that it's there. He's so good at packing. All right, I need some big boxes as well. This gets my desk covered in these tiny bits of cardboard. <laughs> Wait. This isn't a big box. <laughs> I was fooled. That's the same size. Ah, where are the big boxes? Let me know in the comments if you were looking at me making this thinking, Emma, that's not a big box. <laughs> You're making it up a small box. To be fair, most things do go in small boxes. Yeah, they can fit a surprising amount in them. It's okay. I found some that are already made up. So, we've got a stash, let's get packing. This box is <laughs> spinning about all over the place. Stay still. And the people in the post office were just so lovely and really helpful. I asked them like so many questions about the drop and go service. Um, and yeah, I thought I'd share it just in case you're also in the UK and you want to like learn about it or if you're just kind of curious. But basically it's like a service that the post office provides and basically you just like write a manifestation, a manifesto. They've given me a load of presents as well which is like it's like christmas come early so you basically write one of these things and you write like what service the postcodes the number um and the item value and then 
the barcode like if it's tracked so you don't need to do that on all of them and i actually signed up for drop and go like months ago i signed up online and then i never used it because then i discovered click and drop which is a separate thing basically it's a way that you can buy your postage online and then you can just like post it in a post box but i've been finding i mean at the moment my sales are definitely going up which is probably just like the holiday rush but yeah i'm actually preferring going to the post office because then i get the proof of address no what's it called the proof of postage <laughs> then i get the proof of proof of postage which means that if an item goes lost it's like um you can basically get 20 pounds back anyway they gave me presents they they've given me like some um this is for like if anybody gets an international tract and signs labelly thingy yeah they've given me some like for the uk as well anyway so i'm really excited about that i might talk about this a little bit more in another video i'm gonna do like a whole etsy q a video coming up so i'm really pleased that i've got all of those orders posted off i think for the rest of the day i just kind of want to have like an admin day and get a little bit sorted so yeah i think that's going to be it for today but <laughs> you will see me again in a couple of seconds when it will be tomorrow <laughs> Good morning. Um, I don't know if you can, if this is really going to show up, but <laughs> this morning I saw there was all these random like swirly lines on my window. It's very kind of frosty this morning, and I was thinking, has somebody been drawing on my window? There is a really tiny slug that has just been like going round and round, making all these like swirly patterns <laughs> but yeah i just thought it was kind of funny good morning it is now thursday and today uh, my, my plan is i want to create some reels for instagram i don't know if i'm a little bit like late in the game with reels but i don't think everyone's using them yet so yeah if you've never heard of them basically it's like that 15 second video and it's a little bit like tiktok which i haven't used either well, I've kind of gone on there to see what other people are doing, but I haven't really used it. So yeah, I haven't made any yet. So this is definitely not going to be a how-to video because I don't know what I'm doing. But I'm just going to kind of experiment with it. And I did actually try and make some reels out of like some YouTube clips. But it didn't really work because obviously it's the completely wrong format. Like YouTube, it's like wide, you know... <laughs> it's it's like this <laughs> and a phone is like that i look like i'm doing some weird like 90s dance move maybe i don't know so i thought i'll try some new things i think i'm gonna try and do some reels with like my enamel pins sort of showcase them i also i bought some flowers and i thought that i would do some of my teacup as well um my floral teacup pin yeah so basically i want to take a whole bunch of reels um of like yeah showcasing a bunch of my pins and so i thought i'd use these flowers with the teacup i have a whole idea in my head i don't know if it's gonna work but we will see anyway I won't use all of these, like the rest of them will be going in a vase. They're really pretty, aren't they? I love the kind of berries as well. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna start with the flowers one because what I've got in my head might be a little bit more complicated. So I might start off with, yeah, something a little bit more simple. I will take you along with me and let's see <laughs> if I can figure out how to use reels. what I want to do is just show the woodlands enamel pins in one video 
and then yeah do like the sets in like different real videos yeah i think it might be a little bit difficult to make it so short um just make it 15 seconds yeah i was thinking maybe i could do a video where i like pack them that might look quite cool so i'm just trying to work out how i'm gonna do it because obviously i need to like line it up but yeah, it's going to be actually kind of tricky to get them all, like, I kind of wanted them all on the screen at the same time. I could use the leaves again. Leaves. Actually, I made a little video for my Christmas cards, like, a few years ago, and I used, I used the leaves there, and then I sort of did something where it was kind of like the cards were coming out of the leaves, so I don't know, maybe I could do something like that. We're gonna experiment. I feel like I need a whole storyboard or something. <laughs> They've got the timer section, so I'm gonna try and use that. And you can like say how long you want it for. So I think I'm gonna try and do something a little bit stop animation like we'll see if it works i'm just gonna kind of experiment and have fun okay so this is quite fun i'm using the align tool and so i've just filmed the badger and now i think i'm gonna like swap it for i don't know maybe the hedgehog or maybe the maybe let's do the bear so you can do if i click the the line i said this wasn't going to be a tutorial it's still not a tutorial <laughs> So I'm going to like swap the badger out and you can kind of see like the ghost of that and then I'm going to like line that up and then like film that bit. I'll show you the whole clip like at the end, hopefully it will work. If you don't want to be in my video don't say anything okay so i just made my first reel you're gonna see um, i'm talking to my sister but she doesn't want to be on camera <laughs> and now i've got like an actual audience for filming usually i'm just talking to the camera myself and i know that people are going to see it eventually but this is weird anyway so i just did my first reel and then I wanted to like edit the last bit and I couldn't work out how to do it and then I clicked save as draft and then it disappeared and I was like where on earth is it gone? I was panicking but I found it so I think it's okay. I did it! Yay! <laughs> There's actually music to this but I don't think I can play this music in the YouTube video but if you want to see it in its like full glory then go and check out my Instagram which is always linked in the description but yeah so this is 15 seconds long I should have timed how long that took <laughs> it took yeah that took a really long time I think maybe an hour maybe longer I, I'm not sure my sister actually rang me when I was in the middle of this and obviously I was doing it from my phone um but i actually had my ipad with me as well and so i spoke to her on my ipad so i had like the camera going recording what i was doing i was like doing this on my phone like yeah making the reels on my phone and having a chat with my sister at the same time but yeah that whole thing took ages but it's really fun but yeah, I really, really enjoyed that. I think it took a long time just because I'm not really used to making them and I don't know like what all the buttons do. And I had a little bit of a panic <laughs> as you saw because I thought I'd like deleted the whole thing. So it is now actually one o'clock and I really want some lunch. So I might just make one reel today. Maybe I'll make some more tomorrow. I think that is going to be it for today hopefully we won't spend <laughs> quite as long making a 15 second clip i was just packing away these pins and then i thought i would test out using the stars um like the star sticker and i actually think that looks really cute and i sort of folded it round because some of them like the badger for example like his face is there and I don't I want to still be able to like see his face because I mean the glassine bags 
they're kind of like opaque so you can kind of see through them but I just think that looks really cute and now I'm thinking like oh I wish that I'd thought of this idea for when I was doing the reel but I'm not going to do it again because it like literally took me <laughs> I don't know like an hour or two hours I wasn't really keeping track of the time but yeah I just think that this will look really cute yay oh it looks sweet hi everyone it is now friday it's already afternoon because i think it's just gone at 12 o'clock i'm really hungry and i want my lunch but i'm gonna go to the post office first and actually yeah this morning i've just been packing some more orders because like that's the most important thing and i've done my first manifesto let me cover this up so you can't see oh and i also want to cover up my telephone number is there any point in me holding this up <laughs> everything i just have to cover everything up because i don't want to show you my telephone number or my drop and go number or any of the addresses or yeah just imagine i have done i might as well just hold up the blank one anyway invisible manifesto right here so it is a lot later now it's like four o'clock i have been to the post office twice not because there was like a mad rush of more orders or anything but basically what happened was i dropped off my drop and go uh, parcels and i was like oh that was nice and quick and easy i didn't have to queue i just found somebody and gave them the parcels and they took them away and then I came home, I thought, right, I'll now update everything to say that they've been dispatched. Yeah, and I just thought I'd check on the drop and go website to see if it was all kind of working. So I checked the items and they'd all been put through wrong. So I had a load of letters that were under 100 grams and they'd all been put over 100 grams. I had loads of large letters which are so the boxes they these are actually i know they look like a parcel but they're actually get classed as a large letter and they'd all been put through as parcels so basically i've been charged so much for postage yeah and i just wanted to eat my lunch but i was like oh <laughs> and i tried to ring them ringing a different completely different post office <laughs> and um just like telling him all my troubles and then he was like i don't think you came into us and i was like oh <laughs> but i had a very nice chat with that man on the phone and then tried to ring the other post office but just got through to like some annoying you know press this number press that number and then an automated message yeah so then i walked back into town the lovely lady that i saw the first time who was telling me all about like drop and go was there and she was so sweet and she was like really sorry and she was like oh no i was telling you all about drop and go and like she was really apologetic that like my first go of it kind of went so wrong but yeah they're gonna get everything sorted refund me the postage and everything's gonna be posted and it's all fine but it is now like four o'clock and i haven't had lunch <laughs> so yeah i'm very very hungry i need a cup of tea i put a potato in the oven and went to the post office i really want to eat my potato <laughs> so i'm gonna go do that i'm gonna sign off the vlog here i hope you enjoyed it i will update you on the drop and go like am i enjoying it i think i need to give it give it another try but so far i'm preferring the click and drop but maybe i was just unlucky we'll see i am sending you lots and lots of love i hope you've had a wonderful day and a wonderful week and i will see you in the next video okay bye thank you for coming i know that you're trying to do anything to make me smile